Yardsmiths. Uh, so today we got a bit of a different video and we're talking about uh, something exclusive to Fantasy Flight Games. So a number of the games covered on our channel are from Fantasy Flight Games and this uh, is uh, from their Organized Play program. So what's, what's Organized Play? Uh, organized Play is uh, usually um... To, to some extent uh, competitive uh, in the case of the competitive LCGs or, uh, you know, some kind of reasonable level of cooperative play uh, at some kind of tournament event, usually a local tournament at your local game store, uh, but uh, it could vary up to some form of regional, national, or world uh, championship. Those all uh, fall under the purview of the organized play program as well. Yeah, and important to note that it isn't uh, just two tournaments. Uh, organized play encompasses all play that uh, is essentially organized by Fantasy Flight Games. So this also includes uh, like casual game nights, and there will be game night kits with promo uh, cards that you can get for playing uh, playing games or get accruing certain amounts of points, perhaps. So. Um, yeah, it, it encompasses the entire spectrum from a very casual event all the way up to uh, a world championship. So, well, and um, yeah, on that note, uh, I know uh, the Organized Play program did uh, kind of run some like learn how to play Arkham Horror kind of events at uh, game stores. Uh, obviously not this year, um, but they've done that in the past. Yeah, yeah, I, they do have it for their cooperative games as well on... Um, a lot of you watching this video perhaps saw Legend of the Five Ring players, but uh, if you are if you play Arkham Horror, Marvel Champions, uh, those games will be a part of what we're about to talk about. So uh, so stay tuned. So essentially, what uh, this video is for is because of uh, the COVID pandemic, uh, all major organized play events have uh, been cancelled for the remainder of the year and are currently postponed. So. What this means is a lot of people who regularly attend these events, uh, whatever they may be, tournaments, game nights, uh, they're simply not able to right now. And FFG wanted to, to, to do something for these people uh, that just help, help everyone get through, get through the pandemic here. So this is an initiative designed to foster uh, an online gaming community. And this doesn't mean the games are being played online per se, but it's about sharing your experiences of playing their games online and just building building this global community of people who play uh, these great games. So, so what's what is this initiative that's happening? Uh, so it's called the Play and Share campaign. So the idea is um, uh, you are going to share um, you know an anecdote or a, a picture um, or some aspect of your experience about a game you've played. Um, it um, is obviously going to be a Fantasy Flight uh, game because it's the Fantasy Flight Games uh, Play and Share uh, campaign by their organized play. Um, so basically to participate in this, you're, you're going to have to do the following things. You're going to have to um, share either like an anecdote, a story, uh, a picture, a video about a game that you played. It has to be a game uh, that's published by Fantasy Flight Games. Um, you have to do this on Facebook or Twitter, and you have to use the FFG play and share hashtag. That's a single word. Um, you, again, you can do that on either Facebook or on Twitter. They're monitoring both. Just use that hashtag. Um, in your post, uh, in addition to telling your story or sharing your picture about the game, uh, you have to identify exactly what products you're doing. That includes expansions. Um, the idea is that someone can look at this, say it looks like this person had a fun time, um, and be able to figure out like how they could replicate the experience you had um, without spending an hour on the internet figuring out what all the various components were. If you're playing a game and you were using a bunch of expansions. Um, they're asking that you keep it PG. Um, That's basically just common sense, really. Like. <laughs> And there's no limit to the amount of experiences that you can share using this hashtag, um, but you need to be sharing different experiences each time you use the hashtag. So you can't make a hundred posts about the your same favorite, your favorite game that, that you ever played. Um, and yeah, so um, there's no requirement for this to have been an experience that you had in some kind of organized play setting. 
This could just be, I played this game at home with my family, I had a fun time. And that's generally what this is geared to, just your current experiences during the pandemic of playing games with uh, friends, family, significant others. Um, yeah, so uh, basically uh, there is a reward system if enough people participate in this campaign. The campaign's been ongoing for some time now, and um, there have already been some rewards issued, so why don't you uh, speak to that? Yeah, so uh, what they're doing is when they reach, uh, or I guess when we, if you're can, if you're participating in the program, reach certain milestones, uh, FFG will put out printable uh, cards, and these will be available on their website. Uh, and if you follow the uh, FFG Organized Play Twitter account, you'll be able to see these cards on there. I haven't seen an article for the ones just released on their website yet, but uh, check out their Twitter account, specifically their Organized Play one, if you want to see the cards released so far. So the first milestone was at 150 shares, so uh, people have been sharing their experiences, uh, pictures of the games they played, little anecdotes, and yeah, uh, 150 have already been shared. We've shared some ourselves, so uh, if you want to check out our Twitter account, you can see what, uh, what we've posted so far. But at 100, well, and uh, if you're looking for a template of uh, how you might go about it, you can you can borrow from that uh, those tweets that we've made. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely go check that out if you're interested. And yeah, so the first milestone was uh, we didn't know uh, until they released it, but it turned out it was for Mar uh, Marvel Champions. So if you play the cooperative Marvel Champions LCG, uh, you might be very interested in that. There's been uh, six new cards released. And for those who uh, have never really um, like gotten a card off the internet from a PDF or something like that, uh, what you can do is just print them off. If you have um, if you have cardstock paper, you could print it on that. If you don't, you can even just print it off on a standard piece of paper. You can cut it out. If you are playing your games with card sleeves, you can actually just slide that piece of paper in front of some other random card you're not using, and the card will feel exactly the same as any other one. But if you have access to a special like printer or maybe really good quality cardstock paper, you could even you could go about it that way. But really, you you just buy the cards, print them off, cut them out, and and play with them. So the six cards released so far are Marvel Champions. The next milestone will be at 300 shares. And my assumption is that that uh, release might be for the Arkham Horror LCG, but that's uh, purely speculation. Could be Legend of the Five Rings, could be more champions, but I think Arkham's a, a fair, fair guess. And yeah, that'll be at 300. So uh, if you are interested in this, if you play any FFG games, even if you don't play uh, Champions, Arkham, or uh l5r just even just share your experiences you'll help some other people get some cards and you'll get to be a part of this uh growing community uh with the hashtag yeah and you're gonna even if you're not the kind of person who who is going to print those cards off you are going to get value if you're a regular participant in organized play events uh because ffg has said that once uh play returns to stores uh the store kits for events will include physical copies of the cards that are released as a part of this program um, so if you don't like the idea of printing it off yourself, um, you should still participate because you will eventually have the opportunity to get uh, physical copies of these cards on the actual uh, card stock that they're using. Yeah, yeah, so definitely um, if you play really any FFG game and this sounds even somewhat interesting, uh, it's not, not very difficult to contribute. Uh, we'll we'll post a link to the FFG article uh, in the description, uh, video description below. So if you want any more information on that, uh, really, if you just want to read through all those, uh, read through the article yourself, you're more than welcome. And yeah, that pretty well wraps it up. Is there anything else? Yeah, yeah. I mean, as long as you're uh, comfortable sharing your experiences, uh, you sh should uh, certainly do so. Um, it's free cards for yourself. It's free cards for other people. And uh, the more people do this, the more free cards there will be, and for a bigger variety of games, uh, presumably. And yeah, if you're hesitant about uh, about yourself or your significant other, or your friends on um, having pictures of yourself on the internet, as we mentioned earlier, it that is not, by no means a requirement. It could just be a, a photo of the game you're playing, or not even a photo, and just a, an anecdote or a little brief story about the experience you had playing the game. Yeah, you can do it uh, text only if that's uh, your preference.
Um, yeah, I think that uh, just about uh, wraps up everything we have to say uh, about uh, the FFG Play and Share campaign. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know in the comments. If you found uh, the video useful, uh, let us know in the comments, give it a like, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, uh, and uh, otherwise, uh, until next time, happy gaming! Take care!